Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask. It is Monday, the 25th day of July. Today is National Hire a Veteran Day, which should be every day, by the way. I agree. I like veterans a lot. Uh, most veterans that I know are awesome, awesome people. So uh, it's National Hot Fudge Sunday Day, which okay. you'd think would land on a Sunday, but it's today. National Merry-Go-Round Day, National Threading the Needle Day, and National Wine and Cheese Day. Mm. Who's going to celebrate that one? I would. I thought you might. And it is a Movie Star Monday. Let me check my notes here. Can this be true? We have Jamie Lee Curtis joining us today. What? Yeah, Jamie Lee Curtis. That's amazing. The one and only. I am so excited to chat with her. Again, Jamie Lee Curtis. She's been in a ton of amazing movies. Heidi's favorite, A Fish Called Wanda. But in addition to all of that, she's got a new project she's doing. It's an audio project. We're going to chat all about Letters from Camp. The third and final season is out right now. What can I say that I haven't already said about BetterCreditCards.com? It's a website. You go there to get a better credit card. Okay, that's really probably all I need to say for most of you, but I still have time left, so how about this? At BetterCreditCards.com, we have different kinds of credit cards, some with better points and perks, some designed to help you build your credit. Whatever stage of life you happen to be in, we want to help. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com, that's BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Heidi, take a listen to this. According to a study, women rate the smell of a man, a smell of a man, as more important than his looks. I would agree with that. Would you really? And you still ended up with me? I keep buying you cologne. You just won't wear it. <laughs> I haven't gotten any cologne from you in a while. <laughs> because you don't wear No, the last it. time you bought me cologne, you bought me a big old jug of cologne, and then I think I got it taken away from TSA. <laughs> you bought it in like a three gallon jug. I was like, Arr. rolling it through. What's this? That's my cologne. Yeah, we're going to keep that here, buddy. Uh, women think body odor indicates how healthy a man is and how healthy his offspring may be. So, according to, you know, the smart folks who do these studies, they're saying that's why. So, okay. All right. So, I wonder if they did a study talking about. If men like women who smell or whatever, whatever this study was, because wouldn't wouldn't it make sense to find out if it goes both ways? Because that would only be the fair way to do that. I think men like women that smell nice. I think so. I don't know. I I think I love you and you smell good too, which is nice. (laughs) Surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Are you looking for an energy drink that's natural, lasts longer, has no dyes, no artificial flavorings, and no sugar? Blitz Energy Drink is the answer. With only 10 calories per serving and 200 milligrams of caffeine, our formula will help increase your focus, endurance, mood, and energy levels. Order now at DrinkBlitzEnergy.com. Use promo code RADIO20 to save 20% and get free shipping on any canister. DrinkBlitzEnergy.com. Promo code RADIO20. That's DrinkBlitzEnergy.com. Did you know? Brought to you by RadioTravelGroup.com. Heidi, did you know more than 7 in 10 of us want to increase our physical activity to keep up with our children? Recent study talked to over 2,000 adults in the United States to see how they've stayed active as their routine and lifestyle has undergone drastic changes over the last few years. About half of the respondents, 51%, said they can touch their toes without straining. Hmm. The good news is that People are looking to change their habits. 70% make more of an effort to be physically active now than they did in the beginning of the pandemic. One poll conducted this survey. They found 42% struggle to stay physically active. They lack motivation. And uh, they have injuries, among other hurdles at the top of the list. However, the biggest obstacle? Joint pain and arthritis. The average person reports taking only 3,800 steps a day, which is one-third of the recommended 10,000 steps a day. You know how many steps I get a day? Out of those 10,000? About 10. (laughs) Yeah, not nearly enough. All right, we don't know everything, but now we know this. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. Megan Fox is apparently just blessed with a perfect body, Heidi. Really? Yeah, the 36-year-old took to Instagram Friday to share a photo of herself rocking a lime green top and matching pants. It was snapped the same day as her fiancé and Machine Gun Kelly's Los Angeles concert July 13th. Uh, The midriff-bearing outfit also shows off her sculpted abs. She quoted comedian Joan Rivers in her caption, writing, I don't exercise. If God had wanted me to bend over, he would have put diamonds on the floor, end quote. 
Wow. So there you go. Super classy. Yeah. Uh, Peter Dinklage, uh, star of Game of Thrones, is now going to be on The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. So okay. I'm not sure what any of that means. Uh, Ethan <laughs> Hawke. We, we haven't watched these shows. We really need to get but out more often. Tell. But I know they're a big deal because I hear other people talk about them. So I'm like, oh, we should probably talk about that. And then I let the cat out of the bag that we don't know any of this. <laughs> All right. Ethan Hawke says he's on the final leg of his acting career. He's 51 years old now. And he was in an interview recently saying he's feeling that he's definitely made the turn from being an old young person to being a young old person. Okay. <laughs> I can relate. All right, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. Join us in October for The Sands, a week of music and fun that's been described as the best week ever by many guests. This year, we have more icons and more fun. Loverboy, Belinda Carlisle, Lou Graham, Vanilla Ice, Samantha Fox, Firehouse, and many more already on the schedule. Plus, more announcements coming soon. Plan to join us October 25th through the 30th at Planet Hollywood Beach Resort Cancun. This all-inclusive event will be the time of your life. Learn more now at radiotravelgroup.com. Now, your scoop of the day comes your way courtesy of bettercreditcards.com. Multitaskers everywhere can rejoice because YouTube is going to allow you to do other things on your phone while still watching videos. We've all had that moment where we're trying to watch a video and then we attempt to text the same time and the thing is when one door opens another uh, one yep, closes. Yep, yep. Okay. So, those days are officially over thanks to the new picture-in-picture mode, which they stole from Facebook, by the way. <laughs> they will allow users to watch videos in a floating window while performing other activities on the iPhone or iPad. YouTube made this announcement on Twitter, saying the feature is, quote, slowly rolling out for YouTube on iPhone and iPad. And, just like on Android, it will be available to premium members worldwide and non-premium users in the U.S. for non-music related videos. Does any of that make? Well, why yeah. If you're not it? watching a music, but I don't know why you couldn't do all of it with I, that. That doesn't it's... make any sense. But yeah. whatever. They did not steal that from Facebook. <laughs> 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 all right. A new patent shows that Apple is working on adding lasers to future iPhones and to Apple watches. What? Why? Why? Well. It's not a new personal weaponry weaponry system. It's pretty exciting, though. It could add some extraordinary features to your electronics. Horizontal cavity surface emitting lasers could be used for functions like biometrics, refining the capabilities of face ID or touch ID, and perhaps leading to the return of touch ID to future iPhones. But they could also be used for detection of particular particulate matter, enabling your device to report air quality, when used in combination with a photo detector or photon detector. According to the patent, it also is possible the laser could be used with a fitness app to help pursue wellness goals in conjunction with a device's camera or gaming apps. So, I don't know. I just want the laser. Can you give me a laser? <laughs> you just want to be able to say you have a just laser. Put it on my phone. I need a laser. <laughs> All right. That's bizarre. Scoop of the day comes your way courtesy of bettercreditcards.com. Are you ready to enjoy a little slice of paradise? Check out this beautiful family-owned, professionally managed vacation rental in sunny Poipu, Kauai, Hawaii. Our family stayed recently and we absolutely loved it. The area is so beautiful and the vacation rental has room for up to six guests. Why stay in hotel rooms when you can all enjoy your own area in a vacation rental? Visit Hawaii and make your trip to this tropical paradise one to remember. Learn more at radiotravelgroup.com. That's radiotravelgroup.com. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi show on this Movie Star Monday. And I am super excited to visit with Miss Jamie Lee Curtis. Jamie Lee Curtis, how are you doing? I'm I'm your Freaky Friday Movie Star <laughs> Monday. We just have to cover the other days of the week. I'm trying to think of, of what uh, other days of the week we can come up with. Fish I called Wanda maybe, Wednesday. Um, yeah. <laughs> My wife's favorite okay, movie. Fish called Wanda. I'll take it. That is my wife's favorite movie, by the way. She told me I have to make sure to tell you that's her favorite. So it is a very good movie. Uh, It is. It is a funny movie for sure. I'm very happy to talk to you on Movie Star Monday. Well, we're never been on Movie Star Monday. Well, this is a first for both of us. I've never talked to you, and I'm excited because you've got so many amazing things we can chat about. But we're going to start here, and then we're going to come back and finish here as well because you've got a really fun podcast you've been doing, and this is the third and final season of Letters from Camp. What was it that first inspired Letters from Camp? Where did this uh, concept come from? Oh, you're going to laugh. So Letters from Camp is a podcast about a young 
coming of age. It's about a tween girl named Mookie Hooper going to sleepaway camp for the first time, the camp where her mother used to go to camp, where her mother was the most famous woman to have ever gone to the camp. Um, and the way this show happened is that my goddaughter, who is the writer of Letters from Camp, wrote me a letter when she was 12 that she never sent me. And it was a perfect letter from camp. Dear Godmother Jamie, I got in trouble. I did something wrong. I feel bad about it. I think everybody's disappointed in me. I wish you were here because you would know what to say, whatever it was. And she never sent it to me. But she put it in an envelope and sealed it and wrote my name on the outside. And 15 years later, 16 years later, her mother, one of my best friends, found the letter in a you know stationary box under her daughter's bed. Her daughter's moved to L.A. years before. And she sent it to me because it said Jamie on the outside. And it was the letter when she was 12. And I called up Boko Haft and I said, Boko, this is a show. We need to do a podcast, a scripted comedy podcast about a 12-year-old girl going to sleep boy camp. And that's how we started the show. I love that. That is really cool. And I love that it's from something that really happened because so many times there are things that are fantastic, but it's all, you know, make-believe. But when it's something based on reality, doesn't that just make it better? Well, I, I, I think so. And look, there's a lot out there in the world for people to listen to. I will tell you, this is something that is funny. It is a family show. You can, if you're taking a long car ride, plug this show in. I promise you, it's got great, great performances. Super funny people. Kirby Hal Baptiste and Edie Patterson, I'm in it. I play Director Sue. Um, Sonny Sandler plays Mookie Hooper, the little girl. But we also have really fun guest stars. The first season, we had Jake Gyllenhaal. The second season, we had Daniel Radcliffe. And the third season, we have Jacob Tremblay as the heartthrob Tallahassee Goldman, who, nice. you know, um, uh, uh, Mookie gets bitten by the love bug when Tallahassee Goldman shows up at camp. And it's just a wonderful show. So that's it, why I like it. Is this something that all ages can listen to? Like if I wanted to listen with my kids, is that okay too, you think? Yes, this is a family show. This is funny for the whole family. We said it in 2005, specifically to avoid social media. We wanted it to be family-friendly, something everybody could identify with. And it's about something. There's heart and soul to it. There are the normal questions of being a tween, all of the questions about identity, about how we're trying to figure out who we are. And that's what summer camp yields, I think, is that opportunity. Now, when you were a little girl, little Jamie Lee Curtis, did you go to summer camp at all? Do you have experiences from that? Oh, yes. Oh, 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 oh yes. <laughs> I went to summer camp and I went to a camp up in the high Sierras. It was a mountain camp. We lived in bunks. We did water sports and lanyards and archery and all the fun things. It was called Gold Arrow Camp. I love that. Um, I know that Boko Haft went to a camp uh, in Maine. I believe it's called Camp Kohut. And Russell Goldman, my producer, went to camp. Everybody involved felt very strongly about camp. I think camp is a great place for people to really figure out who they are. Um, you know, we go to school. We have family. Um, we're one thing. We go to school. We're that person. Camp allows you to try new ideas. Yeah. And I really love that that's where we set the show. And again, it's called Letters from Camp. Season three is out right now. And this is the final season as well. Is it going to be hard to say goodbye to Letters from Camp? Oh, that's a good question. Um, it, it will be for me. We did three seasons. We wanted to avoid doing a show about teenagers, to be perfectly honest. Oh, yeah. This is a show about a 12, 13, and 14-year-old uh, group of kids. We wanted to avoid those older years where all of the complications of being a teenager come into play. We wanted to keep it pretty innocent and funny. And, you know, I don't think being a teenager is funny. I think it's fraught. But being a teenager is funny. Oh, yeah. Um, and that's, that's why we said it uh, in ages 12, you know, it's her 12th summer, 13th summer, and 14th summer. I love that. Now, 
there's some f- folks listening that probably know you from movies. Of course, most people do. But this is actually a podcast. Do you anticipate doing other things in the podcast platform? I did uh, a podcast on iHeart for two years called Good Friend, which was a show about friendship. It was conversations with people, um, men and women, just about, you know, kind of the good, the bad, and the ugly aspects of friendship. It was during COVID, and we were all isolated, and we were trying to rely on each other through phones. I enjoyed that. I have not done another scripted podcast, which is what Letters from Camp is. It's a comedy scripted comedy podcast, but I really enjoyed the process. I enjoyed the work. I enjoyed the auditory experience, and I'm hoping that I will get another opportunity to. It's a, it's a big creative field out there. Oh, yeah. There are a lot of people uh, really enjoying. I think a lot of people put ear pods in their ears, and they want stuff, the same amount of content that they used to want off of a screen. They want it for their ears. And I, I, for one, I enjoy listening to like the golden age of radio, some of the, the radio programs from back in the day. And if you think about it, that's kind of what a podcast is. It's like basically going back to what worked 100 years ago, isn't it? Yes, we call it TV for your ears. And it has all the music and sound effects and audio effects. And you get the pleasure performances through your ears. These talented, funny people, Edie Patterson plays the hysterical um, Australian camp counselor named Fanny, who has panic attacks every single day. Jake Gyllenhaal plays Trout, the waterfront director. Um, Kirby Howell Baptiste plays the English PhD candidate, who's the camp cook, and so on. It's, it's, it allows you a real pleasure. It's a real delight for your ears. So when you guys were recording this, were you all together doing this together, or did everybody do their lines separately and then somebody put it together? Well, truth be told, we all, (laughs) we all, except for this last season where we did a few people in studio, almost entire show was recorded remotely. And I mean that first season, season one, we were right in the middle of the lockdown. And I'm telling you, I'm sitting at a place where I had to record under a desk with a mattress thrown over the top of the desk to create a sound hole for me to be able to record my part in the show. I love that. Um, it, Jake, Jake Gyllenhaal was in a closet. Um, you know, people were ingenious. A lot of, clo- uh, by the way, a lot of podcasts are recorded in closets. Yeah. For some reason, closets have good acoustics. Oh, it's all the clothing in there. That helps. I- I've actually done my program, and I- this is going to let the cat out of the bag, but when we go on vacation, if we go somewhere, we still do our program from there. And I've done our program from in a closet, so I, I can certainly relate. And when you were talking about flipping the mattress up, you just gave me an idea. That That's a that's a very good idea. Well, it's it's just, it's look, I it, we were, <laughs> it was a little bit like those old Mickey Rooney, Judy Garland, um, uh, movies where they would go, let's put on a show. Yeah. And, you know, you kind of pull together as a group. Well, we pulled together as a creative group with these ingenious ways to record, to be able to provide something. Because if you remember, two summers ago, nobody was going anywhere. Kids weren't going to camp. Kids weren't going to school. Parents weren't working. People were isolated. And we offered them an opportunity to escape through their ears into this wonderful, funny experience of going to camp. We love it. Thank you so much, by the way, for taking the time to chat with us about it here on Movie Star Monday. Well, I love being on your Movie Star Monday. (laughs) Well, Jamie, I'm going to put a link so folks can find it and make it really, really easy to find. Thank you again. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. Take good care. Absolutely. Again, Jamie Lee Curtis and her new podcast is called Letters from Camp. Season three, the final season, is out right now. I'll throw a link to all of it so you can find it in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. What can I say that I haven't already said about bettercreditcards.com? It's a website. You go there to get a better credit card. Okay, that's really probably all I need to say for most of you, but I still have time left. So how about this? At bettercreditcards.com, we have different kinds of credit cards. 
cards, some with better points and perks, some designed to help you build your credit. Whatever stage of life you happen to be in, we want to help. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? A man once survived on pizza alone for 25 years. Yeah. Yeah. I think I, our son has done that, but with chicken strips. I was going to, uh, you know what? I honestly was going to say exactly that same thing. <laughs> and then our son would say, I don't order chicken strips. And then we go somewhere and he goes, I'll oh, have the, the chicken, chicken strips. strips. <laughs> Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The longest ever wedding veil was the same length as 63.5 football fields. Holy cow. I don't know why. Does that seem a bit long? <laughs> it seems, it seems a bit, just a bit. <laughs> It's like it's just, just a bit much. more than twice as long as it needed to be. Fun fact for you, Heidi. <laughs> What's that, John? E is the most common letter appearing in 11% of all English words. Okay. E. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Prinkles are not actually potato chips, and they cannot be labeled as potato chips because they are not made of thinly sliced potatoes, but they are made of dehydrated potato flakes. So there you go. I actually saw a video online where somebody put water in a bowl, crunched up some Pringles, and they basically made mashed potatoes. And I thought, that's disgusting. Then I was thinking, or maybe it's not. I don't know. There you go. Several fun facts. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Are you looking for an energy drink that's natural, lasts longer, has no dyes, no artificial flavorings, and no sugar? Blitz Energy Drink is the answer. With only 10 calories per serving and 200 milligrams of caffeine, our formula will help increase your focus, endurance, mood, and energy levels. Order now at drinkblitzenergy.com. Use promo code RADIO20 to save 20% and get free shipping on any canister. Drinkblitzenergy.com. Com. Promo code RADIO20. That's drinkblitzenergy.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile Question of the Day. Yay! Yay! It's brought to you by Mintervention.com. Here's your question, Heidi. A survey says that when you move these are your possessions you're least likely to pack up and take with you. What are they? Oh, I can absolutely gosh. agree with this. I've got some in boxes right now that I'm going, why do I even have these? I don't and know. And they're so heavy. Tools? Books. Oh, no, Books. books. No, yeah. no, my tools I can use, but I'm like, once I read a book, I'm like, I don't, why do I keep that? So I try to donate them to places yeah. where, you know, and, and I need to do that again. Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. Join us in October for The Sands, a week of music and fun that's been described as the best week ever by many guests. This year, we have more icons and more fun. Loverboy, Belinda Carlisle, Lou Graham, Vanilla Ice, Samantha Fox, Firehouse, and many more already on the schedule. Plus, more announcements coming soon. Plan to join us October 25th through the 30th at Planet Hollywood Beach Resort Cancun. This all-inclusive event will be the time of your life. Learn more now at radiotravelgroup.com. Now, some weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. A little rudeness can go a long way. In the fight to curb jaywalkers, take a listen to this bizarre story. Okay. Experiments conducted by students at a university in China showed that warning signs written with insulting messages had a greater impact than those with nicer messages. A sign reading, jaywalkers are ugly, placed at an intersection, proved to be the most effective, reducing cases of jaywalking by 40 (laughs) percent. That is so ridiculous. I just, this was almost going to be one of our surveys and studies and such questions, but it's so bizarre. It had to be weird news. And I think it's interesting. That's so crazy. They did this at a university in China. I can't imagine anywhere else where they would have done something like this. I can't imagine anywhere else where it would have worked. Well, I don't know. Now I kind of want to put up a sign just to see what happens. Weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. Time now for the list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. As many areas experience record-breaking heat and humidity, it's an understatement to say sometimes emotions can maybe run high as the temperature does as well. So psychologist Christy Leah from the mental health support platform Support Room has given me a list of things that we can talk about here. Uh, It says make your life easier, avoid high afternoon heat, stay hydrated, and invest in lighter sheets and a fan. Mm -hmm. Another one, be patient. You might be ready to snap at other people, but remember, if you're feeling it, they are too. So just keep a cooler head, and that's going to help you feel cooler too. Postpone meetings, whether it's an important conversation or a routine check-in. Reach out and say, hey, can we just do this on the phone or maybe meet up another time? 
Unless, of course, you're meeting like, you know, a place where you can go swimming or something. And the final thing is avoid big decisions. You might be prone to making rash calls if you're struggling with the heat. It's important to make big decisions when you are cool, calm, and comfortable. I could see that. All right. I've got all that stuff in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Are you ready to enjoy a little slice of paradise? Check out this beautiful family-owned, professionally managed vacation rental in sunny Poipu, Kauai, Hawaii. Our family stayed recently and we absolutely loved it. The area is so beautiful and the vacation rental has room for up to six guests. Why stay in hotel rooms when you can all enjoy your own area in a vacation rental? Visit Hawaii and make your trip to this tropical paradise one to remember. Learn more at radiotravelgroup.com. That's radiotravelgroup.com. Time now for the quote of the day. Comes your way courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Phyllis Diller with not one, but two quotes today, Heidi. Okay. Because I got one and I got another one. I'm like, I'm just going to do them both at the same time. So the first one is cleaning your house while your kids are still growing is like shoveling the walk before it stops snowing. That's true. It is very true. I remember uh, one time Heidi was tidying up the house. She went from one room to another. When she came back in the other room, it was already dirty again. already (laughs) trashed. And sadly, the kids had already moved out. That was just me. (laughs) And uh, And that is not a lie. Another Phyllis Diller quote. (laughs) I want my children to have all the things I couldn't afford. Then I want to move in with them. (laughs) All right. A couple of fun quotes brought to you by insurancechicken.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. Holy cow, we got heroes all over the place. The last several days, we've had hero stories. Hero, hero, hero. Here's another one. Here's the headline. Kayaker rescues a frightened six-year-old boy who was alone in the water. Aww. Kayaker found a six-year-old boy swimming all by himself in the St. Louis River, helped him back to safety after he was separated from his parents' sailboat. The rescue was captured on the kayaker's body camera. This is what DJ Jones wrote on his Instagram account. So yesterday I had this feeling of wanting to go fishing in the St. Louis River from the Boy Scout landing. I got to the ramp. There were two different married couples fishing and a father in a sailboat and his son swimming right beside it. As I got in the water, everything seemed to be okay, at least at the moment. The wind picked up and so did the waves and a swift rate. I watched as the father pulled his anchor while doing so, his son continued swimming, and the next time I looked, Dad was gone. Wow. As I was hooked on to what I believe at the time was a sturgeon, I heard the scream, and there were no parents anywhere to hear it. The sound was a child screaming for his life as he began being swept away by the current. Wow. Then I bit my fishing line and paddled as quickly as I could to get the six-year-old kid. Other than his dad's sailboat, hundreds of yards away, I was the only watercraft in eyesight. I quickly got the kid to calm down and got him onto shore. I was worried about how cold he was, telling me that he felt, uh, so I contacted emergency medical services. I stayed long enough to watch the law enforcement and his father reunite with his son. Wow. And there's the video footage if you'd like to see it. It's all in the show notes. Officers interviewed the child's parent and learned they were sailing on the river when the boy wanted to swim next to the boat, holding on to a rope. The boy lost hold of the rope, and the wind pushed the sailboat far, far away from the boy. Oh, my gosh. So I bet they probably won't do that again terrifying. in the future. Yeah, that is very, very scary. Again, like I said, if you'd like to uh, see the video, uh, there's a link to that in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Monday.